Welcome back to another figure review. In this review, we're going to look at the new 118 scale Halo action figure line. They're calling this the Halo Infinite line. This figure is the UNSC Marine with Commando Rifle. This is in Series 1. Um, this is the packaging. It's kind of uniquely shaped. At the top here we have Halo. And in the middle we have the figure. And on the left we have his rifle. In the back we see like a figure stand. And a game code for the new game coming out in the future. Down here on the left we have a picture of Master Chief. I believe that is. This just says. A eight and older I believe. One set. Series one. The name of the character. Here's the side of the package. The logo here, Halo down at the bottom with the orange pinstriping. The back doesn't really show much besides Master Chief running and a Halo at the top. And on this side we have the UNSC on the top and a Halo and the orange pinstriping on the bottom also. Let's take a look and see what it takes to get these guys out of the packaging. <clears throat> This is just kind of flopping around here. So if you're a mint and boss collector, it may be hard to keep mint. And this is just kind of just holding there. So we're going to attack the bottom. Right here is the bottom. These are made by Wicked Cool Toys, which I believe also is Jazzware, is what I'm hearing. So if you're interested. Yeah, this is going to be an engineering degree to get this out of here. So we'll have to cut the sides here. So it's holding that bubble. Nope. Let's check the top. There we go. So it looks like the bubble holes to figure in the weapon, the clamshell, I should say. And this is attached to the back of the card to stand in the code. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. There's that. We have the figure, and I have to just peel this off. Anything in between there? Yeah, there's nothing, no inserts or anything back there. Get this out. That's garbage. Here is the figure. Figure has nice painted goggles, face wrap, the helmet, a gray right there. So we have a gray strap around the sides and back. Feels like it's pretty decent plastic. Joints are a little tight, but not too bad. There's a knife, which is not removable. Take a look at him all the way over 360. Nice camo. I like the camo on it. That's cool. It's another soldier you could add to your army if you just if you're not really a Halo collector, but 
Let's take a look at the articulation here. 360 head, real spin. Goes down that much, up that much. He has ball jointed shoulders, but due to these shoulder pads, you cannot raise your arms any further. The arms do go to 360. They both do. And we have bendable elbows. Get you almost a 90 degree. Almost there. And it looks like there's a joint there. Yeah, there's definitely a joint in that wrist. Wrist. <laughs> it's up like that. Down like that. And this hand has, looks like it has the same joint. Yeah. This hand goes down and up. Okay, there is no there is chest articulation here. Nice. There is no articulation here, it's all one piece. What is there? Man, it looks like all one piece there. I don't know, there's some slight movement there. You can see that. That's, I mean, I'm pushing really hard too, and it's not really going any further than that. A little bit of waist swivel. Not much. Is there something wrong with it? I sure I can't get that waist swivel to move. I'm not going to push any harder than force I'm putting on it. He does sit very nicely. Wow, that's very cool. A little shocked here, I'll tell you why in a minute. He has a pistol holster and a pistol that are just molded. He has some articulation here, thigh swivel on these guys. And it will go 360 if you desire that. His knees are very tight. Oops, sorry. Keep it in focus. Oh, the double joint your knees. Wow, that's me. <laughs> the reason I keep saying wow is because I'm surprised at the, the price point on these. And he has some ankle articulation there. Two peg holes on the feet. Like I said, the reason I keep, I'm kind of impressed for the most part is these were $9.99 feet. These are going to cost $9.99 at Target. That's why I currently know we can find them in Target.com. Um, you got double jointed knees. You get the wrist articulation. And even though that this hand should be going in and out and set up and down, it's still a joint for $9.99. I've seen figures that cost more money than I get less articulation. It's not a bad figure at all. It's stiff, nice joints. Good looking paint, good looking sculpt. Nice army building price. Now there is some downfall, like that knife. <laughs> I mean, for nine ninety nine, I guess you're getting your money's worth out of the articulation, but you know, the knife is not removable, the pistol is not removable, these shoulder pads hinder to be able to raise the arms. And that's pretty much the three negatives I see out of this figure. It sits like a champ, and his joints are tight. Nice. Just wondering if there's going to be a break. That's hard plastic. I don't know what the joints are like. For some reason, I can't get this knee to bend all the way up. Might have to heat it up a little bit later. Don't want to force it at this point. But they are double jointed knees. 
Okay. Here's his weapon. So more of a flexible plastic. It's not that flexible. It's pretty. It's got some stiffness to it. Pig hole in the back here. Kind of a stripe down it. Hello there. And it does go on his back. Here's the figure stand. It's kind of a grassy stand. These are interlockable. If you have other ones, you can create a, a connection between multiple stands. Be nice to have like a accessory pack. You can buy a bunch of these, make a nice diorama of those two pig holes. It's perfectly very nice, very cool looking. Let's see here. Here is the look at the game add on code. Back at a card. I got my finger over the code, obviously, reasons. I don't want to be. To use the code and this isn't any good when I try. That's what the bag looks like. And your code's right here in a white strip. So let's bring you back in. For some comparison pictures. Here he is with the G.I. Joe figure. If you wish to use him with your G.I. Joe's. Here he is with a Star Wars figure. All right. Pretty cool. Uh, so I'll have it here at the table with me. Is Here's another Star Wars figure for comparison. I wonder if these fit. They do not. The peg is bigger than the hole on the bottom of the feet for a vintage Star Wars figure. Vintage collection, I should say. And for a G.I. Joe figure, they are way too big for a G.I. Joe figure. But they have no problem fitting your Halo figures. Let's take one last look at the figure. See how he holds his weapon. See, there's that piece again. I don't know what's going on with a lot of those pieces are coming. I don't like that. It gets in, in the way when you're trying to get your figure to hold his weapon. Yeah, hold his weapon pretty good. I'm not digging that sculpt. I mean, I know it's a Halo gun, I guess, but. Might have, hit, have to hit up Marauder Task Force for a different weapon for these. If I decide to army build these guys, like I said, I found these at Target. They had one of each. I didn't pick them all up. I only picked up a couple just to see. I had one of him, and I got the pilot. 
and I did pick up the uh, Warthog. So I'll be doing reviews for those two items. So I wanted to wait and see what um, what they were like for for the price point. And not knowing what wicked cool toys is quality and, and articulation. If they were just five points, I wasn't going to keep them. But I think I'm going to keep this guy. Look for a couple more. And maybe replace his weapon. Maybe I'll just keep his weapon on his back just for... Make him look cool. Make him a M4 or something. Alright, well this has been a review for the new Halo Infinite toy line. This is this um not as UNSC Marine figure. Um they went about nine ninety nine. And if you're interested, check your local targets. I've heard rumors of them coming in Walmart, but I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't seen them at Walmart. So happy hunting. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.